Jeffrey Epstein, that a lot of people know what Diddy was about, and he, they were about the same thing, and that's why they're quiet. That's why J Lo and Ben Affleck. J Lo testified at the grand jury, as did many other people. It needs to be reopened because if that is in fact the case, she carried the gun in and she lied to the grand jury. She was crying a lot. She was a mess. Probably what was going through her mind is her career flashing before her eyes. The rumor that JLo may have some embarrassing videos of herself that the FBI was able to obtain during their raid of Diddy's house has already caused her to go bonkers. Furthermore, JLo might find herself in legal hot water on claims that, in 1999 she had lied to keep Diddy out of jail. People, this entire story is absurd. Please stay in your seats while I explain why JLo wishes she had never met Diddy. Everyone knows about the brief relationship that JLo had with Diddy. Diddy was the biggest of them all, and J.Lo was the sexiest new celebrity back then. When she touched TV shows and music, they became Hollywood gold. She was a fast-rising star, so it was only natural that Diddy would work with her on her album on The Six. While they were recording the album, J.Lo's previous marriage had ended, and it appeared like Diddy saw his chance. Diddy says he fell in love with J.Lo right away when they first met. However, J.Lo needed some time to feel at ease around Diddy. JLo apparently wasn't first enthralled with Diddy's bad boy antics, but as they got to know each other and spent more time together, she grew to like him. When JLo and Diddy revealed their courtship on social media during award season, the world went crazy. Diddy, a bad boy rapper, and Jenny from the block clicked well together, despite people's weird opinions. Still, their relationship grew sour with time, and they were entangled in a web of mystery. After their split, J.Lo opened out to Vibe magazine about the challenging moments she experienced as Diddy's girlfriend. You are all aware that, despite never having witnessed Diddy cheat, J.Lo felt positive he was a habitual cheater. There were times when the toxic nature of their relationship forced J.Lo to go look for Diddy. In the 2003 Vibe interview, she even admitted to it, saying, I was going crazy, crying all the time, and going crazy in this relationship with Puffet really threw my whole life into chaos. When asked about finding Diddy in a hotel room, she said, I can't remember right now, but I won't say it didn't happen. I always knew that he would say he was going to a club for a few of hours and then vanish that evening, even though I never caught him. Diddy allegedly had an obsession with J.Lo to the point where he cheated on her while she was upstairs. The most heartbreaking thing is that J.Lo had given him a spectacular party and shown him numerous acts of consideration the day before this particular incident. Came from, uh... Jennifer had just gave him this hell of a day. I mean, like, we went to the Miami Hurricanes game. Uh, was it? Yeah, we went to Miami Hurricane. We was on the field while they were playing and stuff. And uh, he gave him a party at 321 in Miami. She rented a club, gave him a party, gave him this big backyard party dinner and everything like that. Then gave him a party at the club. Even though Jay, Lo and Diddy's relationship ended more than 20 years ago, J. Lo might again be haunted by the same circumstances that led to their 1999 arrest. In case you missed it, in December 1999, J.Lo and Diddy were each arrested during a police pursuit. Not long before the infamous chase, Diddy and J. Lo were in a pub. Diddy is said to have used a weapon during a brawl, forcing J. Lo to carry it for him. Three people were seriously injured. J. Lo was quickly released from custody after the incident. Puffy and Shine allegedly got into an argument with another partier shortly before 3 a.m. Someone tossed a wad of cash at Combs as a sign of disrespect. Suddenly, all hell broke loose. And at some point, one of those people in that group fired off guns and other gunfire was had. Diddy, on the other hand, faced numerous charges. They claim that in an effort to take accountability for everything that went wrong that evening, he tried to buy off his driver with $50,000. Diddy was ultimately found not guilty of any of the charges when the matter went to trial. One of the men who was with Diddy that night, Moses Shine, was sentenced to prison after taking ownership of what happened at the club. Natnanya, one of the nightclub fight victims, has insisted for years that she saw Diddy pull out a gun and use it on her. I mean, I think you even said it to, to the doctor that night, right? I said it immediately. I literally watched them pull out the guns, I've had a clear point of view. I mean, for God's sake, I got shot in my nose. I was facing them directly. I watched everything occur and have described it, you know, vehemently to all parties involved. But according to Natnanya, J. Lo lied about what truly transpired when she testified in court. 
Natanya claimed that J-Lo had lied to her about what she had seen and had even forgotten to include the claim that Diddy had forced her to bring the gun inside the club. In a recent interview with Chris Cuomo, Suj Knight claimed to know that J-Lo had lied on that important night. Suji asserts that this is the point at which J.Lo's life starts to get complex. Not only is he certain that J.Lo lied in court to keep Diddy out of jail, but during the police search on Diddy's house, they also seem to have found some very incriminating footage of J.Lo. Sush didn't really elaborate, but he implied that there was enough material on these cassettes for J.Lo to start getting worried. Suji continued, saying that Ben somehow found out about J.Lo's and Diddy's behavior, especially how their falsehoods turned Shine into a victim of the nightclub incident, and that's why their marriage to Affleck fell through. The major breakdown between Diddy and J.Lo was a huge subject in 2024. J.Lo and Ben Affleck split up, her tour was cancelled, and her hubris was revealed in her documentary. And Diddy, well where even do I begin? Cassie, baby oil, his freakouts, and a whole lot of other stuff. There was a cost associated with J.Lo's decision to remain on the block without upsetting Diddy, she will now be held accountable for the woman who was shot and the man who was placed in jail. J.Lo has always been seen as arrogant, especially in her dating life. Chris Judd. I believe he was paid to wed Jennifer and put an end to all the bad press, even though I also believe he genuinely loved her. Ben left when he thought it was a good idea. I hope everything goes well for Jennifer. Her history is now plaguing her, in spite of her perseverance and accomplishments to date. I can only pray that she hasn't taken any actions that could endanger herself. She may not have been involved with a man who deserved to spend 10 years in prison, but I would hate to think so. Images of Diddy and Jay Lo and Bed have started to surface following his recent jail, which has many wondering what their real relationship is like. However, Natanya is one person who is happy with the current state of affairs. Although she is happy that Diddy has been prosecuted, she also feels some sympathy for J. Lo and the incidents from earlier in the year. J. Lo had to take every safety measure, according to Natanya, to protect herself from Diddy and his fury. It seems like Diddy is still haunting J. Lo, since there are accusations that what happened with Diddy all those years ago seriously harmed her marriage to Ben. It's seriously complicating J. Lo's life this edit keeps the original's meaning and flow while improving the sentence structure, clarity, and punctuation. Speaking with Nikki Glazer about her life after divorce, J. Lo said, It feels scary, strange, and lonely, it feels hopeless and dismal. However, if you allow yourself to stay in that state of mind and tell yourself, these things are not going to kill me, you begin to see that you are actually capable of feeling joy and happiness all by yourself. The people in my relationships don't define me. I can't go to other people to find happiness, I have to find pleasure within myself. I'm a happy person, I used to tell myself, but I was constantly looking for someone else to make me whole. But these days I just tell myself, no, I'm not bad at all, according to a People magazine source, J. Lo felt compelled to take action because she didn't think Ben would change. Was it the Diddy situation, or the reports a few weeks ago that Ben didn't like J. Lo personally that caused this incident? It appears that J. Lo's increased workload in advance of her tour caused issues in their marriage. Ben reportedly does not like how much attention J.Lo has recently drawn to their relationship in the media. Ben doesn't seem to be a huge fan of J.Lo's choice to focus the most of the songs on her romance with him on her upcoming album. Even J.Lo concedes that this is accurate. Ben is a little unnerved by all of this. I don't think he's very comfortable with me doing all of this. But he loves me J.Lo said in her most recent documentary, This is me, now a love story. He is aware that I am an artist and is willing to assist me in any way he can because he knows he cannot stop me from writing the words and making the music I have. He's not interested in stopping me from doing that, and it will take place. That does not, however, imply that he finds being the muse simple. There are rumors that J.Lo has been putting pressure on Ben to go outside his comfort zone so that he would fit into a preconceived concept of who he is. J.Lo allegedly informed Ben that she was pressuring him to get fillers so he could seem a little younger because some of his friends had them. According to reports, J.Lo's recent attention-seeking actions in the media have contributed significantly to the rift in their marriage. Which has also allegedly frustrated Ben. But what are your feelings on this whole drama? Is Diddy really going to accuse J.Lo when the chips are down? Please leave your comments below and check back soon for more juicy information about the J.Lo and Diddy affair.